Uh, you guys are a college crowd, probably like books. Uh, a friend of mine recently read the book, uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People. He's like, hey man, it's a really good book, you should read it. I was like, well, maybe you should read it again. <laughs> hey Aggies, Ariel Silva here, currently at the Robot Rocket Residence here on M Street in Davis, California, where tonight we'll be watching KDVS's annual comedy show, F***ing Funny. with Jacqueline, not only the hostess with the mostest, but an actual performer for here tonight's show. What made you decide to throw this event tonight? Well, f***ing funny, can I say f***ing on here? Yeah. Cool. F***ing funny's been happening for a few years. Alice and Steven started it years ago, and it's been like jumping around different house show venues. We decided to put it on together here because I just happened to live here, so it seemed like the best option. So, what made you decide to pursue comedy in the first place? Um, uh, for me it's just like, like an outlet to be creative and kind of like, um, Put your personal stuff out there and relate to people. So what would you say is like the best audience? Ones who are interactive or kind of just like stare and kind of giggle at you? I'm a person who gets really nervous when people talk to me, so I do not like it when people talk to me when I'm in there. I like it when they laugh and are able to be receptive and just enjoy it. What's your favorite part about comedy shows? It's always good to support local stuff, local artists doing their thing. What do you think makes vulgarity so funny in today's modern world? I like the title, Vulgarity, I don't know. I think it's a credit when people can be funny without being vulgar. Kind of like doing comedy with a hand behind your back. Why do you think vulgar words are so funny today? Oh, like shit. Can I say that? Shit. Um, is a better word. So do you have any favorite comedians? Jim Jeffries is pretty funny. Bill Hicks. Louis C.K. is a dirtbag. He's really funny. Brian Regan. There's this comedian named Emo Phillips from like the 80s, he's pretty funny. Uh, Mitch Hedberg is probably the person that got me into comedy as I know it now. Mitch Hedberg's probably the biggest influence in my life. So, do you have any tips for people who are curious in pursuing a comedic career, but are kind of too nervous or afraid to do it? So it's very easy to just get started and start doing it. There's so many open mics, just even in the area. Well, thank you so much, Jacqueline. I hope you guys have the best of luck tonight with your show, and I'm looking forward to watching it more tonight. Awesome, thank you. But I feel like one way I can tell I'm getting older is it's getting harder and harder to convince people uh, how cool Oregon Trail is. It's a lot like trying to uh, tell a virgin how awesome sex is, you know? You, you kind of just have to show them. Um, so I did. She liked it. She liked the game. After midterm season, I definitely need a good laugh. So I'll see you guys next year. Ariel Silva here reporting for Aggie TV.